I'm Kelly German. I'm the conservation coordinator for the Perkiom and Watershed Conservancy. We're a nonprofit watershed organization based in Schwenksville, Pennsylvania. The Perkiom and Watershed is 362 square miles, and we are right now on Lake Delmont in the Musser Boy Scout Reservation in Marlboro Township. This lake is a man made lake. It's a 13 acre lake, and uh, it's on the Unami Creek, which is a tributary to the Perkiom and Creek. So we've got a group of volunteers that have been out for about a half an hour. They've been pulling plants down on the lake. As you can see, the lake is quite covered in this stuff. This is the European water chestnut and it's covered about half of this lake. It's a 13 acre lake. We estimate there'll be about seven acres of coverage of this plant. Really the only way to get it out is to hand pull it. So these volunteers have been out for about a half an hour and they've filled their boat and they're about ready to come in and unload their boat. They'll be unloading their boat into this in-water composter we've built. The plants, once they've been pulled off from their roots, they compost in about three to four days. And as long as they've been removed from the root from the bottom of the lake, they pose no more threat. Are you hooked? Almost. Tell you what, back the, if you back, in, back the back end around. So what we have here, these are the seeds that the plant makes. You can see that it has very four very sharp spikes, and uh, which can be very painful if you step on them. They can actually puncture your shoe. These seeds are all over the bank, the, the banks of the lake and all floating in the lake. This is the plant that you see floating on the surface of the lake. And underneath the plant are the new seeds forming. Once these seeds are mature, they drop off the plant, they drop into the lake and you get a whole new bunch of plants. This is one seed made one, two, three, four, five, six rosettes. And each rosette will have 20 seeds. Uh, what we understand is that one acre of this plant can reproduce into a hundred acres in one year. So our job here is really cut out for us. We have a lot of work to do here. We want to get as many of these plants out as we can before they make new seeds. Because for every plant that's left in this lake this year, 20 new seeds, potentially a hundred new plants. We'll be doing this again next year. So why is this plant bad? Why are we trying to get rid of it? Well, first of all, it's non-native to our area, which means that when it comes here from another country, it doesn't also come here with its system of checks and balances, which means it doesn't have anything that eats it, doesn't have any pathogens, any diseases, or anything that really keeps it in balance with the rest of nature. So it can really outcompete and really displace the plants that belong here, and that's what it's done in this lake. There aren't any other plants that belong in this lake actually here anymore. You've seen the plant, you've seen the depth of the root, it's very, very thick out in the lake, and so um, there's very few fish, very few frogs or turtles. Anything that's supposed to be in this lake has really been pushed out. It can't live here because the plant is so thick. It covers the entire surface of the lake, so what also it does is when the sun comes out, the sun creates heat beneath the plant, and the plant doesn't let the heat escape. So as the water is heating up, those things that cannot live in a, in a water body that has a high temperature also die and or go away. There's lots of reasons why this plant is really bad. Um, clearly, it's very difficult to boat. Uh, you can't swim in it. You can't fish in it. You can't wade in it. You really can't do anything with this plant here. So there's lots of reasons why we're trying to get this plant out of here. I coordinate all the conservation programs for the watershed, which means uh, all the tree planting projects, stream bank restoration projects. And my job is to coordinate all of the partners, all of the money, and primarily all of the volunteers it takes to get these projects completed. Because we're a nonprofit organization, we only have five uh, employees and most of us are part-time. So we rely very heavily on our volunteers from our community who care about our environment to come out and help us with these projects. This project is no different. As you can see, we have about a dozen volunteers out here today helping us with this project. And we could not do this project without the help of our volunteers. We call them watershed warriors because that's what they are. They work really hard for our watershed. So we've got about a dozen out here today and we need a lot more. As you can see, we have a great deal of coverage here on the Delmont Lake. We were really hoping to hit 
this plants a lot harder than we did this season. We're going to be out here again next year doing this in the summertime. The water's fine. We really need the volunteers, direly need the volunteers. Please come out and give us a hand. Thank you.